What's going on, people? Another lovely Monday. That's right, Mondays are cool. If you are cursing Mondays, you're doing it wrong. I want to explore a concept here. One, a concept that I believe in wholeheartedly. More education does equate to more money. It does. That, that is a truth. That's an absolute. Now, there are many people that are educated. They have degrees, credentials, and they don't have two nickels to rub together. What is the disconnect? Because it is true. More education leads to more money. That's an absolute. It's true. The problem is, what is education? That's the disconnect. There are many people who think that education is just going to college. Education is bigger than that. It's broader than that. There's, there's so much more to it. But due to limited mindsets and a lack of critical analysis, thinking skills, and so on and so forth, that people get stuck to the point, I heard this story and I could not believe it. There was this man talking to this other man and I was being nosy because I was listening. And he was like, you need to go back to school. I have my degree. That's why mom and dad allow me to stay with me. That's right. Not having a degree, living on your own, showing proven, demonstrated ability to take care of yourself wasn't good enough because this person didn't have a degree. At first, I thought there would be cameramen. I thought it was some kind of gag show that these some folks would jump out going, gotcha! Because it didn't make sense to me. But I realized... I must live in the world with other people who do not think as I think. As this was going on, it just made me shake my head that this fuckery was supported. But those of you here in the G-verse don't think like that because if you did, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be drinking the great big grape, grape Kool-Aid. I don't care how grape it is. I don't care how much sugar I put in it. I don't care how cold the ice is. You would not be here if you thought like that and it, it really got me to thinking about this huge disconnect because when someone who is not living at home is frowned upon because he doesn't have a degree and apparently these were immigrants and uh, the dude that was not with them was clearly not buying the uh, pep talk he was he wasn't like no 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 I continue to do what I do and it was really really funny it was really really funny but I, I ponder this and I think about this quite a bit that so many people are seduced and I, I really thought about it because growing up if you walked into any house in America and said hey I have a degree people were immediately impressed they were immediately impressed I mean it, it has some cachet so at some point things changed and once again this goes back to the lack of critical thinking skills because one of the best ways to become educated is vocational school, trade school, apprenticeship, or self-education, which also is the cheapest way to become self-educated, uh, and it has more bang for the buck. Conundrum Publishing cost me a total of $289. 14 months, it's taking care of myself from a $289 investment. I don't know of any degree program in America for $289 that will get you to where my self-education got me in 14 months. I don't know of one. I could be wrong. Point me out. Put it in the comments. Let me know. They ain't going to know it. We doing this over here is I hustle you or, you know, let me know. But the broader thing is going back to the larger disconnect of what is education. If you can unseduce your mind and if you can really, really think about truly, what is education? How can I gain an education? And I think the big part of this is critical thinking skills. 
that that is the that's where everything falls down or is built up if you can develop functional critical thinking skills not what i call debate uh, critical thinking skill there are people you get them in a debate they can critically outthink your point or come up with something but they can't earn a fucking dollar i'm not talking about that shit that is very close to depository smarts but if you can develop true critical thinking skills and problem solving skills that you can apply to real life situations you have solved a good 40 to 60 percent of the battle depending upon who you are you have really really have raised the bar for your life because this is where we are and a lot of people don't want to hear this but this is where we are the new economy the new world is predicated on those who can learn fast because even if you have a business that's going to change but see the beauty of a business is you control things you have capital so if you need to take your company in a new direction or you may have to shut down your company and start another one if you have the experience and the capital and the freedom to do so you're in a much better position than someone who got laid off because it's not the same uh, I had to shut down one business, I had to start another one. But because I had the freedom to do so, I was able to do it very quickly. Um, there was someone in one of my writing groups, it took her five years to write her first book because she was going to school, she had a job, and she had two kids and a husband. So I didn't have those constraints. And you know, and as I talk about that, let me really speak to people who are young. If you're like 18, the 25, I've got a few things for you. Do not get married to someone with no goals. Don't do it. If you get married, make sure she or he has goals. Do not have children until you have done some shit that you wanted to do. Let me illustrate, let me just scream that from the mountaintops. Do not have children until you've done some significant shit in your life. I lived in Japan for six months before I had kids. I traveled around the world. I've experienced, there was a lot of things that I did that made me, in my opinion, well-rounded individual. I got to do some things before that happened because this is the deal. I, anyone that tells you going to Paris after you have kids, it, it's not the same going to Paris at 18 with no obligations. It's not the same. You can fuck that French girl in the haystack. You got 2.5 kids and a wife. You can't fuck her. Well, you should. But just saying, do some things. Take some chances when you are what I call clean. You have no debt. You have no obligations. Those will be the freest years of your life. Do not squander them on some bullshit. If you don't know what you want to do, I will be the one to tell you. Don't go to college. If you have no clear-cut path, you haven't made a good decision, don't go to college. Don't go to college. Go out. You know what? Fucking look for some foreign job. Go live in another country. Go do Go do that. Do not go to college. Go, I don't know what you want to do with my life, but I'll take basket weaving 101 while I figure it out idiot also another thing dream fucking big 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 i mean real big and this is something else get the fuck out of your parents house as early as possible the sooner that you become used to taking care of yourself and being an independent person the sooner you will have greater control of your life because I have met people who are just, in my opinion, way too fucking dependent on their parents. Need money. I mean, every time you turn around, mom and dad is doing something for them and they're fucking 40 years old. To me, that is a fail. That is a fail. So, if you look at life from that perspective, make some good choices. Get out of your parents' house. Don't get married. Don't have kids. Don't do that stuff until you have lived some life. Until you've walked on the beach. 
until you've met someone that speaks a foreign language that thinks you're fucking cool. I mean, do that before you start settling down into the regular uh, minutia of life that so many people get caught up in and then at fucking 30 something, 40 something, 50 something, they lose their mind like the dog that was let out of the house that had been cooped up all day. Go, Arr! you know, <clears throat> do that. But part of getting an education is experiences. The more experiences you have in your knowledge bank, the more that you can connect the dots. You can see things. That's one of the reasons that I've changed up my courses because I'm giving you the stuff that I use to be successful. Many people want a linear experience. I do X, Y, and Z. I yield result A, I, B, or whatever. And that's cool, but if you really, really developed your critical thinking skills, <clears throat> it's like having a pass key to the world. The critical thinking skills are the master key. They open up every fucking lock. And I, I, I don't, I can't really emphasize that. Too many people are trying to keep it dumb, keep it easy, keep it simple. When you challenge yourself, when you really go through some stuff, you may fall down and go boom. You may hurt yourself. Your self-esteem may be assassinated. But when you do that stuff, and at some point, you come out on the other side clean, you come out like I did that, your self-esteem, your confidence just goes through the roof. You become a different kind of person. You're a different dude, a different do that. You just, you don't, you don't have to perpetrate swagger. You are the personification of swagger. People start copying you because you are an icon. That's what happens when you do hard shit and win. <clears throat> a lot of people are looking at this thing wrong. They're looking at it as uh, I am going to put in the least amount of effort. My videos like trying to get rich for nothing. There's so many people that are looking for that special angle, or looking for that magic juice or the magic jelly beans or some other slick, smooth way to get wealthy without really trying or without putting out work with just, you know, um, my name is Steve, <clears throat> excuse me, my name is Steve, the special one. I don't have to work hard. I'm just special like that and the money's supposed to hop in my wallet. Yes, it is, yes, it is, yes, it is. People like that, you know, I feel sorry for you because you're going to be forever frustrated. Just like pumping 50 pumps and still no nut. That's going to be you. Just like, I can't come. I just can't come. Be about something. Now, let's get to the core of this video about education. Uh, many people are caught up in stasis. It's like, I don't know what to do, so I'm not going to do anything. And as time goes on and on and on, they still haven't done anything. I want you to understand something that you're doing yourself. You're creating a habit of not starting shit. You think you're being prudent. You think you're being smart. You think you're being slick. You're being smarter than the average man. I'm going to get all of the data. I'm going to do my due diligence. I'm going to research. I'm going to do all of this stuff. You know, I'm not going to be like those silly people. I'm not going to be like Glendon. You know, putting stuff out there and failing. Now, my stuff's going to be smooth. You're, um... Uh, selling yourself a fantasy because in this new world things change so quickly by the time that you gather what you think is due diligence you've done your research shit's changed all fields are being disrupted so if you take a year to get yourself together in that year shit has changed i can guarantee you that shit has changed in that year and if your information is not top dog I'll, I'm getting this current stuff. I mean, I'm getting the fresh milk from the cow. You, you've wasted your time. You are better off starting something, failing, learning from that experience, acquiring real-world data, than sitting on the sidelines in so-called research. I, I mean, you know, do research to a degree, but, like, get your research, and, like, okay, I've got a bag full of research. I'm about to go out here in the street and see if I can make it happen. 
you, you got to have some timelines with this stuff. You cannot just sit back forever and ever. Because research, if you're researching something for years and years and years and you're not writing a book or you're doing some type of anthropology dig or something, you know, you're, it's fear. It's, it's simply fear. That is your issue. You're, you're a scaredy cat. As someone put up in the in the comments, my inner scaredy cat was like assassinated two years ago. Well, was we got sick two years ago and now we're on life support. I love that. My inner scaredy cat. Your inner scaredy cat is winning. Your inner scaredy cat <clears throat> is owning you. Your inner scaredy cat runs your life. And that's a problem <clears throat> if you want to be successful. If you want to live a life of design of intent, if you want to really, really set your life on fire, your inner scaredy cat's got to die. That bitch just got to die. I mean, bad. I mean, you just you gonna have to, you know, spank the cat. You know, really spank it hard, and really, really begin to become active. Now, someone asked me a question. I'm gonna give you advice. You know, a lot of kids graduated this year and they don't know what the hell they want to do. Um, I got a suggestion for you. I actually got a few. If it's not happening here and you can't join the military, I was in the military. I think it's a great way for a young person to get started. A lot of people are like, oh, no, God, you know, they're going over and raping, like, you know, wolverines and owls and stuff. And other, No, everyone doesn't do that. Only bad people do that. But think about getting your passport and going abroad and learning some stuff. There's a lot of jobs for Americans. There's places you just look. It's not going to be nice. You will actually, and also this is something else, and this this was really really pivotal to me. You will see true poverty. We do have people here in the United States in poverty, but most of our poor people in the United States are wealthy by the rest of the world standards. I mean, poverty is living in a hut, having no shoes having two or three outfits, if that many, and no running water. Your dad doesn't have a job. Your mom doesn't have a job. Y'all are out there living on the land, and everyone in the village is living the same way. That's poverty. There are people living like that. You, If you ain't living like that, you're not poor. You're just dissatisfied with your life because you're looking at the Jeffersons, and you're looking at Bill Gates, and you're looking at Pete Diddy. It's like, yeah, I want to do like that. But you're not working like Gates or Diddy. You're not putting out the effort. I mean, both of those guys are known for having a voracious work ethic. And if you have like, you know, a midget work ethic, um, you're not going to get there. But really, really think about that because you will prepare yourself because the world is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, I just see beautiful things happen in the future. And once we get these teleporters, yeah, I'm going straight Star Trek on you. Oh, it's just distance will become immaterial. You will have people living in London, working in Iowa. It just will not freaking matter. If they choose to travel, that is, or, you know, they may go visit their peers from time to time. But we're going to have some really, really cool stuff in this isolationism of, you know, I'm an American and I don't really have to do any shit. I mean, our days of being the crown jewel of the world are over. Not saying America is going to disappear. Not saying America is going to not have the innovation and put out some wonderful stuff. That's going to continue on, on and on and on because that's part of the American DNA. However, everyone else is start is catching up, caught up, or past us. And some of these countries, it's going to take them another hundred years to really, yeah, like 50, 80 years, maybe a hundred to really come on par. But they're coming which represents a lot of problems that have to be solved in terms of population, in terms of you know resources, in terms of food. The people who innovate, and you, you'll be able to innovate better if you're, on the, if you're out there in the field, if you're on the street where it's happening, if you're getting that raw data. You know, raw data is when you're on the battlefield and the bullets are passing. You know, yeah, you can go up to HQ and say, yes, you know, this guy, he's got like an M60 because you can see it because you're on the field. But if you're way up in some magic castle trying to get real world intel, it's only going to be good as your uh, people on in the field out there 
you know, catching bullets or shooting bullets. But if you're out there in the field of the world, you will be able, and if you look at people that have created companies, they created companies to solve problems because they were out there. They knew the problem was there because they were part of the population that was dealing with the problem. So this, once again, comes with trying different stuff. This comes with putting stuff out there because I have uh, people in the reseller group, which I just closed. You know, you can't get in there because, I mean, a lot of these people have been in there for three, four, five. Damn, wow, they've been there for a minute. And they, you know, change inform exchange information among themselves. I have seen people grow. I have seen so many people who were Rudy Poot. They were straight up Rudy Poot in 2009. That was just like, really? You a hustler? I have seen people shock me and surprise me because I had some people who was like, I don't know about this guy. I don't know about this guy. And they just kept hustling and kept hustling and trying stuff and making it happen. See, you can't wait for it to happen. You have to make it happen. And there are many people who are in a waiting mode. It's like they're on standby waiting for their success. It's like, well, I'm just waiting until flight 1382 going to success. It's going, you know, I'm waiting to board that flight. I'm like, no, 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 no. You need to go to flight school. You need to get your pilot's license and you need to be flying that plane, not a passenger. You need to be flying that plane. And many people just are waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then one day, there's not going to be any sand in that hourglass. And then the lights are going to go out and they're not coming back on again. And they're going to wonder, what the fuck happened? What, 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 what happened? So understand, in educating yourself, you got to take chances. You will actually go down paths that, are, that bear no fruit. And that's another part of the experience process. Everyone's looking to apply energy and effort in the area that's going to yield a direct and desired response or outcome. You, you know, some of the stuff that I've done came from me just going down the rabbit hole. 30 days to 2,500 bucks was a total, huh, this sounds like a good idea. Okay, I'll do it for free. And I just went at it for six weeks. I, I thought of it like, you know, as an offshoot of the Hustler Mindset Pro, I just did that shit. I just, on the fly, boom, that's why I was free when it was going on. And it was one of the best things I ever did. There was no promise that it was going to be great. There was no promise that I was going to make a lot of money. There was just, I'm going to put this out here. I'm going to talk to people. And the people, they loved it. They thought, hey, this is cool. This works. I like the results. I like how this is going. And... It, it turned out to be a very functional and successful program for a lot of people. And it got me a new crowd, a new audience. And that was just, I didn't know how it was going to turn out. You, you got to stop going, hey, you know, I wonder how this is, you know. It, you got to stop looking for guaranteed results. Because, yes, you will expend effort that will go in the direction and you'll feel like you wasted time. You, It's like, you know. Just like my, you know, my take on dating. Some people feel that if they spend four years with somebody and it doesn't go where they wanted to go, that they wasted their time. How do you be with a person, live, love, do things, have experiences, and it be a waste of time because you didn't get married? I don't understand that. I don't think it's a waste of time. I look at it as just another leg in that journey of your life. And that's how you have to look at these projects because the more projects that you do, the more stuff that you do, the more experience points you get, then all of a sudden, dots start connecting like a motherfucker. You, you know, I look at stuff now totally different than I looked at in 2009. I can see things happening. I can see like, whoa, there's opportunity there that I could not see in 2009, but that opportunity was there. But I, my perspective wasn't there, but because I've done all of this stuff and I'm going to do more stuff and I'm going to put more stuff out and I'm going to take more chances and take more risk. You have to take risk. You have, I mean, life is inherently risky and people are like, hey, you know, I don't want to risk nothing. I don't want to lose any money. I don't want to lose any time. You know, I'm like sweet brown. I got, who got time for that? You got time for that. If you've got time to waste 10, 20 hours a week watching TV, you've got time to devote a few hours a week to something that may not work out. Because TV, what does TV, does TV get you any money? Nope. TV get you any uh, new knowledge? Well, maybe, depending if you're watching a documentary. But really, you got to start quantifying your time. So 
essentially more education does equal more money but don't limit yourself to going to college is because really if you're getting the wrong degree and i'm going to say this straight up you are in a worse position than someone who doesn't have a degree who doesn't have that student loan debt because everyone's like hey i'm in fifty thousand dollars for student loan debt i'm in sixty a hundred thousand no you're not if you're in fifty thousand add another 30 g's to that when you calculate interest if you're a hundred thousand add another 50 to 80 g's to calculate interest if you take forever and ever to pay that off so really you're in more debt than you think you are once again why because of the lack of critical thinking skills and a lack of knowing how to do fucking fifth grade math add subtract add subtract is that it's that simple and people get in these situations and they're not really being aware of what they're doing so yes more education equals more money all day freaking long yes it does it sure does but what is education to you what is education in the fabric of your life because I'm gonna tell you something I am glad that the things that happened to me that forced me out the storage auction business happened because it opened the door to something that is freaking insane I don't care what happens in the future there will still be a need for people to write books to write stories to share to communicate to create videos to create podcasts it's never going away it's never going away because it requires a lot higher level of creativity. Uh, I did a little write up on the guy who wrote the, who did the web, not the website, uh, the Facebook page, the humans of New York. This guy went to New York. He didn't have any formal training to be a photographer. He wanted to take 10,000 pictures. He was taking pictures. Wasn't working out. Then he started uploading the pictures to Facebook and people started like, hey, we like this. And when he started adding stories, took off. Now, I'm going to tell you how bad it took off. Dude is probably making now. Now, this started in 2010. This is only 2014. Started in 2010 and really didn't pick up until 2012. The book came out and the book is probably on Amazon alone. The book's probably making him. His share, because he's got a book deal, hundred about eighty to hundred and fifty, maybe two hundred thousand a month. I mean, when you add up all of the outlets that are selling the book, he may be making his cut half a million a month. This is a guy that was broke, no training, he had a camera, he went on the streets, he took some pictures, didn't work out. So he's like, Well, let's do this. That's called reiteration. That's called revising on the fly. Well, what about this? What about this? What about, oh, and bam, he went out there and he failed and he failed and he failed and he failed and he failed. And then when he's like, oh, let's add stories to these pictures because I'm a fan of it. I found the Facebook page a few weeks ago and I love the stories. It's like, you know, you know, people are being very blunt. They're being very, very transparent. And he tapped in it. This guy's not a reporter. He has created experiences for other people because the thing is, he's not taking pictures. He's serving humanity on a large level by taking pictures. And he's becoming incredibly wealthy. Increase your service, increase your wealth. So there are photographers who've gone to the finest photography schools in the world who take awesome pictures, who will never make what he's made in the last, this year, just, just this year, from January to now, they will never in a lifetime make what he made by taking a freaking chance will not happen so just some food for you to think about check out humans in new york go to amazon check out the book i'm telling you this is some powerful stuff teaching yourself how to do something versus waiting on someone to teach you all right this is glendon i'll see you on the good side if you like what you heard and you want more go ahead get your free audio book it's somewhere there also if you want to start learning check out the deals and okay i'm doing the easter egg thing again you got a special offer here you know you can do the stuff individually you know the hustlers university that's free hustlers camp 30 days to 2500 hustlers mindset strengthen your mind or you can take the special author and get everything but once again this is a special author and it's only for you who are at the end of this video don't put it in the comments just take advantage of it and rock and roll with it
All right, this is Blendon, and I'll see you on the good side.